Hey guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, February the 21st, 2017. This is Jennifer. So I'm doing something entirely new today. I'm sitting at the front of my house, so the street is right there. So if a car drives by, I will just pause and we'll edit it out. I finished the project of Dune last week. Well, finished minus one thing. It still needs a label, but the, the binding's on and all the threads are buried. So as soon as it has a label, it'll be ready to be washed. And then I'm gonna use this sucker. It's gonna be one of my living room quilts and I am looking forward to watching mini movies with my husband while snuggling under this quilt. While I was shifting around some things in my sewing room, I found some dish towels that Jules had given me last year to use with my embroidery machine. And I just immediately knew what I wanted to do with them. I had this set from Urban Threads. So I did a thimble with a needle. This is a yarn ball with a crochet hook. And then of course, embroidery scissors with thread and a needle. Like I said, those are from Urban Threads. I will um, put the link to that pattern set in the description for you guys. So these are gonna be used in my kitchen. My cabinets are red. Um, I have a red KitchenAid mixer and a red KitchenAid um, food processor. And I just love red and white together. So these are perfect for my kitchen. I had a sew day with my friend Linda last week. And I'm gonna say hello to Linda because she has been binge watching Talk To Me Tuesday. So it's been really fun to get all of her comments about things that happened in like 2010. And I have no idea what she's talking about. So I have to go back and watch to find out. During the sewing session that we had last week, I finished three Linus quilt tops. I also finished this guy at her house. These are all orphan blocks. Some of the blocks came from Sarah in Houston. Some came from my friend Shelly, who's local here. She's another Linus volunteer and she loves to make blocks, but not always finish the quilts. So she gives me a lot of her uh, blocks that she's made from block of the months and stuff like that. There are also blocks that I cut out of a panel that Laura, our very own Laura from here on Talk To Me Tuesday gave me. And I actually built this quilt around the pieces of this panel. So I'm gonna show you guys this. So these blue and white blocks, I believe were from Sarah in Houston. She's pretty sure they were from her too. And then the kitty blocks came from Laura. So I put them in the center here and then surrounded them by 12 inch blocks. I just cut these guys to be the same size as these blocks and then I just pieced it like a quilt top. But I put the little gray kitty on top, the little orange kitty looking up at it. This next quilt top I'm almost sure also came from blocks from Sarah and Houston. I had already put these in a bag together so they were just ready to go and I just picked them up and I took them with me to Linda's. It seriously, it was like a 20 minute project. All they needed was pressing and sewing together. So this is another quilt top ready to quilt for the Linus connection. These are, um, for those of you guys that are curious, these are um, Aunt Grace like reproduction fabrics. And you guys know I love this kind of fabric. This is what my original paper piecing vintage was pieced out of. The last thing I have to show you guys today is sort of an orphan block top, but not really because this came from an entire set of blocks that Shelly, my fellow Linus connection volunteer, gave to me. And these were from a Honeybee Quilt Store's block of the month that they call Five at the Hive. Shelly gave me all of her blocks and there were 12 inch blocks and I think six inch blocks and I just played with them until I had something that I liked. I still have a few six inch blocks left over, but it's plenty big for Linus now. So for this one, I put all the 12 inch blocks together. Then I did six inch blocks up the side and across the top. I only did them on one side, across, like up one, across one. It'll make a nice team quilt. And <laughs> it's seriously, it's blowing like a flag right now. It's really windy out here. And my friend Linda has already given me a back for this one. So this will probably be the next one that I quilt for Linus. I also received my panel quilt that I showed you guys a few weeks ago, the one that um, I had cut the panel in strips and then done piano keys. I got that back from OC who quilted it for me and it just needs to be bound. That will be my March Linus blanket. And if I can, I'll go ahead and finish the one I just showed you and that'll be March as well. I think that's gonna be it for me. This has been a very interesting experience having to stop for cars and having the wind blow and just basically having everyone that drives by stop and look at me. They didn't really stop, they, but they did slow down and look at me like I was a 
little bit mental, but it's Austin and we do try to keep things weird here. So it was fun. And at least I know for future reference that when my husband's car is not in the driveway, I can hang a quilt on the front of the house and take a really good picture. Don't forget to stop by Fandom and Stitches tomorrow for the Goblin King, the next installment of the Labyrinth Quilt and Stitch Along. We have another fun two blocks tomorrow. And don't forget to stop by So Hooked on Friday for the next free pattern Friday. And next Monday will be the next paper piecing vintage. So it's a busy week. Also, my daughter's birthday is this weekend. She's going to be 22 and she's coming home for the weekend. So I'm really looking forward to that. That is going to be it for me. I'm going to get out of here and let my neighbors have some peace. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.